Happy Sunday. It's uh, it's nine o'clock Eastern. Um, we're live and uh, January 29th. Um, welcome everyone. Apologies for uh, not being a little bit more frequent, um, but uh, we've got lots of updates. So um, hopefully everybody has lots of new goodies that, that came into the into the store. So um, let's. Uh, um, uh, I just uh, just came from outside. Uh, it's uh, it's I'm into it. Um, so we'll talk about what came in um, this uh, video, uh, and then uh, we're going to spend some time talking about Shot Show that uh, we um, uh, we are starting to work. So, um, uh, what came in? Uh, you uh, have no excuses for cleaning up your rifles. Um, um, one of the um, um, one of the ammo, um, in particular, uh, pretty hot stuff. Um, we got. I almost don't want to say that we got this because we didn't get enough but the x um in 6.5 millimeter and uh, so we'll be able to fill at least partially uh some of the back orders it also means that's finally maybe the floodgates are open maybe the 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 um the stuff is going to start trickling more into canada i know they've been seeing it a little bit more regular I'll restock to some of the um uh some of the rule pulled um x5 hd and 3 hd scopes um and uh released from the customs it was four weeks i think it was at least three and a half weeks um it, it got shipped here almost overnight and it was just uh, doing their due diligence so they um they wanted to make sure that um everything is uh, correct and unfortunately that delayed uh three weeks shipment of email text uh, stuff coming in uh we're getting it hopefully now on on more a uh, regular basis um lots of guys are looking to to have some spare parts for their pistols. Let's jump in. Um, we did get uh, both uh, uh, CZ, uh, so Shadow 2, uh, CZ 75 mags, um, uh, PO9 and P10F mags. Uh, we did get, um, S um, we got a bunch of Lux and Ergo um, in uh, almost all the calibers that we were after. In the video um, uh, as well. Kind of what's something interesting that's happening uh we got remounts so we should have most of them uh the ones that we carry um uh, they're kind of industry st in standard for quality mounts um five eggs um some mini sets three calibers so 22 uh 22 long uh sorry 22 lr 22 uh wmr and 17 hmr so w uh, uh, a season canadian edition is definitely a good choice that that would just really nice, good looking, uh, right? We got uh, uh, spare part sets for uh, SP01 Tactical. Um, they're up on our website. It's basically you get a whole uh, for your SP01 parts, then, uh, um, or if you have a couple, or a lot of guys back up for, for some of the parts uh, that these in our newsletter. But uh, let's, um, and still my question is not great. Um, if, uh, if anybody's there, let me know if you guys are actually uh hearing me and how the how the connection is um hopefully it's uh um first thing i want to talk say that uh um is that shot show was very um there was a lot of exhibitors um and um um and uh, that it's um um the new products coming in there's lots of um um uh, lots of improvements on the existing products there's there, there are new variants coming in um everybody was there in uh, there you for the whole duration i was only there for two days so i wasn't able to um to uh, um i'm gonna try to reconnect the stream here There is a there's a lot of interest in new products. There is a, there's a lot of development of the new products. Um, maybe we'll talk about some some of them. Um, it's, uh, you're in pandemic and stuff. It looks like it's uh, it, it's uh, has bounced back. And I think uh, uh, um, some of the uh, uh, supply manufacturers are working around it. Uh, um, the um, uh, the issues with the, with the supply chain and all of that. So. Um, 
think we're still getting what's above here. Let's see if I can make this a little bit. Uh, Oh, um, where were we? Okay, I had only time to visit uh, in the in the in the Venetian, uh, and this this year they added what they call Forum, um, which is in a Forum kind of had a, another huge exhibition hall. Um, it would probably, but you can't get out. Um, they, they really. Want Let's jump into some of the updates of of the of the companies that that uh, some of the companies that that we care for. Uh, um, and uh, they, they take quite a long time to, uh, to have a product. They're, they're, they're going to be somewhat interesting. Um, they are going to be maybe for some kind of binos. Um, and uh, um, those are, uh, that was a kind of a big new product. Um, and I was pretty, personally pretty excited to get, um, that the, <coughs> um, they finally actually made it. Um, I think this, this is going to be kind of typical Leupold product um, that good quality, it's going to be reliable. Um, the tests are, it seems one of the trends in, in the industry is the, the um, range finding by the, in some applications, they're um, this uh, more, um, they, um, the, you know, they're, they're kind of typical Leupold product. And uh, um, we're hoping to kind of have these in three, 4,000 miles. Uh, sorry, three, four thousand yards. Um, um, they are they're not that they are kind of uh, right in the middle and part of it just because the binos are um, the um, hopefully within the next couple of months. Uh, moving on to a bunch of products uh, for the shot show we're going soon um, looks like a really, really good product for anybody who is looking to uh, dive more into the dedicated timer. Um, they did demo their uh, the electronic tree. Um, I'm a little bit conservative when it comes to triggers and, and electronic anything is always what happens when the batteries die, die. How is it, uh, how is it going to work when, um, um, uh, uh, you know, in, in addition, so if it's too cold, too hot, um, how is that going to affect the electronic crisp? And, and, um, it has some interesting features in terms of the, uh, some safety features in terms of the leveling. So apparently if, if the rifle is, is too much off, it will kind of, a um, uh, one of the safety features, um, something like that. So, um, so yeah, we'll see um, 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 uh, how those perform once they are released. Is the wood kit for the XRS? Um, we love XRS chassis, uh, and and, uh, uh, and one of our, one of the most popular 457. like the wood accents on the on the, you're definitely going to appreciate it it kind of comes on the side and then then a grip and and uh, and the cheek piece and even even the spacers um looks very sharp at least do some of the builds with them i was quite impressed of uh, how nice um uh, the um, it looks quite nice for for people that do prefer um shoot with wood um rather than than the aluminum or some as many Holes and have as many kind of uh, ports for mounting accessories. New bipod um, from the uh, bipods ground and skypod. Uh, kind of a skypod is you know top shelf product. Uh, it's quite expensive. It's, it's geared towards the competition shooters. For somebody that's not really um, looking to spend that amount of money or doesn't really looking not really looking for that amount of performance, I think that the um, um, the, the to me not wrong but uh, the the, uh, the entry level bipod i think it's going um a good addition to to somebody just looking to some get something a little more budget friendly um okay next lots of um, um lots of new pairing do love citron products what we don't love about citron is that uh, um uh, they don't advertise enough and uh, uh it, in terms of the versus uh, uh, versus how much advertising people know about it, there's a huge discrepancy. Geared towards target shooter uh, because it's one of the few companies that still 
uh, uh, puts lots of F and, uh, finer reticles and, and you know, fine duplex reticle. Uh, a, lot, a lot of other optics companies, you know, including the guys from the Remain, the kind of in that space. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, pretty much the first place everybody starts uh, looking at. So what's new from Cytron? Um, line of scopes. And I'm quite excited. $400, um, really nice entry level scopes. They still come with the, with the lifetime warranty. They've done a kind of refresh on it. Um, the line was discontinued a few years ago. Uh, cost level, but keep the Nitron um, level of, of quality. And we're quite excited to, to bring uh, two nice starting scopes if you don't, if you don't wanna blow um, um, a huge budget option. Um, the other couple of products that the, the the other product that was released in in particular is the s6 and um we don't know where the tube they're going to be 34 millimeter tubes which is more of the industry focal plane um they're using standard uh, um standard uh citron radicals and uh mid-range uh, but it's big it's a it's it's elr scope definitely um the, and in terms of prs scope they didn't really have a mid-range that there's an stack but um, um, uh, uh, the, sort of the price is going to be, um, could be anywhere between 1500 and 2000, uh, 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 quite looking forward to getting someone kind of bread and butter of the, of the Cytron scopes. And, and we sell quite a few S3, um, lines of scopes. If you're looking for, um, sort of F class or bench, um, by far our, our most recommended scope on thousand meters. Um, so. A lot of lot of f-class shooters a lot of bench rester rimfire benchers guys really love these they have a really nice fine reticles so s3 version of the of the s3s um they uh, and rather than your kind of um, uh, typical scope from from the 90s um and um they um, um they said it's a similar they said upgraded optics but uh, you know they couldn't really tell me what's upgraded i think they're probably maintaining zero stop and going to take him one by one scopes and kind of being up upgrading so so that's one is, is uh um, is putting kind of a uh, some effort into um uh, building a nice uh, nice rig you want to have a scope to, to kind of match the look um let's move to hornady um um and apparently the answer is yes but we'll believe it when we see it um so that was that's that's all but uh, all over over it and that's the um um that's the pretty new exciting are already uh, chambering this their rifles in uh, in the seven prc but working relationships with the um firearms manufacturer um that they kind of trust that when hornady releases new pc chambering uh, uh, a lot of a lot of especially north american um, rifle and PRC is a primarily a hunting um, hunting cal. Of course, that they're adding more uh, more products into CX bullets, and, and I think CX the Amax um, uh, replacement. Um, um. The other thing that was in, exciting for us is that uh, they uh, um, uh, kind of co-joined with the with the Snap Safe uh, Escape Room, not Escape Room, <laughs> uh, um, Panic Room, um, and um, those are definitely a good uh, good options to to. Her. They can use uh, for um, kind of building the benches. A really nice example of uh, kind of using their um, uh, uh, build the skeptical how how they're gonna um, how much we're gonna get them in cash items um, and uh, uh, the shipping might be just the cost per head. Go company so uh, Lapua um, 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 spend quite a bit of time at La Lapua booth because uh, um, and um, as you guys know we do love Lapua everything um who are, um hard, powders are hard to get um and um uh, and there's a quite a bit of demand on them but uh um the factory is operating in in full capacity and the demand for it and they're pumping out orders you know as as they come in so probably powder or vv um but uh, it's more that the, the demand is so hum and there's a huge vacuum kind of created with the other powders not not being delivered the poor uh long range and um super long range um i think it's kind of a little funny name but uh um is essentially going to be higher grade so i think it's going to be like comparing a, let's say center x and midas um they are we really hope to see these with the next uh um, they are a little bit faster um they ballistically look they look like a, a, a polar biathlon um they are 
kind of similar really to SK long range, um, um, to be honest, SK mid range cartridge, um, they're both made in the same factory. That, and so SK is, is a uh, so range and Lapo is more of a, more high grade um, long range is super long range. Um, they're taking essentially what they, the success and, and, uh, and well, a really good reception of the SK long range of the ballistically that version of the cartridge in in the lapua line the guys they're looking uh um, guys and girls they're, they're looking for something that ultra consistent across the full full spectrum of the distances but i think uh, uh target ammunition starts to kind of waver kind of might might tighten those groups and you know we'll see the time the time will tell uh they gave out some some at the match and then of course now it's uh it's uh Probably the most uh, sought after uh, uh, um, um, rimfire PRS uh, market. Um, so, so I think that we're going to see the similar thing with uh, um, that extra edge um, in the performance uh, starting to use them. Um, availability of Lapua stuff uh, again, we talked about it because the, the on production of the other ones. Um, so Lapua is working really hard to um, to have the um, um, have their production it is also a little bit sad for us. And it's sad because they're handguns and we can't get handguns right now. Landscape is going to change. A um, couple new pistols. Uh, one is the um, the orange, so tactical sport, the line. Um, and um, it looked very nice. I didn't want to spend too much, but you know, it's, it, it, um, uh, it's being released in 9 mil and a 40. And, um, and as the... Um, <clears throat> Um, review uh, a platform and family of handguns and, <clears throat> and a, lot, a lot of uh, a Dan Wesson um, 1911 crown. It's a, it's a very nice pistol. Uh, I've been wanted to be on the waiting list. Um, there, there's lots of YouTube reviews on these. Uh, and there's going to be more coming out um, for, pe for people that are looking for that kind of uh, um, single action awesome um, uh, pistol that's uh, um, that was one that everybody built. That's the one of the newest uh, acquisitions. Um, they do, um, and then of course there is a CZ and CZ. So um, it's going to be called Colt CB. Um, for those of the, the keen eye, it's very easy to spot. Um, the um, one of the 600 barrels looks like a heavy, more of a varmint, sort of a heavy um, uh, barrel. So it's 24, 26 inch. It's a, it's a little bit simplified ACC, which is probably done to, to bring down the cost. And uh, and I think to make it more of a kind of... So so this is going to be very interesting. Um, it ticks off a lot of, uh, a, lot of uh, um, a lot of check marks. The rifle should be able to do. Um, it's going to be available right now. Uh, it has a US MSRP, which is uh, it comes out to $2,500 Canadian. Um, I don't know how is it going to be. I don't know if these are actually made in cold can way around. Um, I mean, a uh, um, very good package uh, for um, for uh, um, price. I mean, two and a half thousand dollars is, is not not a, actually. Um, I think uh, what they're doing is in this case, Colt is building it. Um, it's not uh, produce. Maybe they're maybe they're doing some some modification. Uh, um, in this case, Colt, they're using a Colt name, uh, is, uh, is 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 trying to kind of uh, utilize its CZ600 uh, possible. And this is pretty exciting. I mean, that was the whole point of them uh, switching for 527. Uh, sometime, uh, sometime soon. Um, oh, boy. Knives. So, uh, so we visited um, one of them, and that's a sort of metal. I think it's blue metal um uh skins that we're gonna have and uh, uh yeah we, we're gonna be getting getting these for sure uh this is very compact um uh crkt is partnered with another uh, manufacturer um has has factories um north american or or european um they from from getting crkt um and it's not for the lack of the qual quality hogue um, that they partnered with, and they're going to be making a uh, versions of some of the CRKT knives. I don't know which ones yet. Um, I sh I'm going to the knives that they have. Um, they they maintain quite quite a reasonable pri price point. The U.S. made knives will, of course, have a higher higher price point, but I think uh, uh, people are willing to um, willing willing to to pay for those. You know, given that uh, um, we are super excited to announce the three new companies. Um, the one the um, 
first one I'm going to talk open it um, you can see the this is the uh, the adjustment tool it, you can use it to uh, to adjust your um, muzzle I don't know as a, as a, as a prop um, for something um, but it's it's just a really nice nice piece you can I don't know if you can even see here at the break let's not just look at the uh, adjustment tool so the that is um and does I, I just like it um and uh, but more importantly um the the spearhead machining is two two famous uh, uh, brothers they they have built many um uh, many for 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 many competitors and they kind of knew they were coming and uh, um and uh, we were quite a, quite a, the product was was finally released and but <laughs> hopefully excited for, uh we're going to have them threaded in the cz thread so um for the, for everybody who can't find it has a hard time finding something that they especially if you have a um kind of 20 inch or or, or shorter uh, or kind of medium i would say length barrel in a larger chassis like and uh i think uh, uh it's it's a good material um they're making um they're making rifle accessories rifle shooting accessory in particular uh, um bags and rear bags um we we the next few weeks uh we just um we've been just uh, kind of uh uh the uh what we want to bring in and uh um Actually, definitely not last. Um, but and and to meet them and to talk about optics and talk about shooting, talk about competitive shooting, um, a lot of parallels with how we run business and how they're running to to start working with Apex. Um, Apex has announced um, the first focal plane scope. Um, when they come in, we're going to do a video more about those. But um, they have also announced again. Uh, it's going to be kind of like the. Um, very popular running AR platform, but I think it's going to be popular for the for the Steel Challenge colors, and they're going to have a. In particular, what we're excited about is that um, a binos with a TR2 reticle. So see the good quality binos uh, with the reticle that are coming that you kind of don't have to go uh, uh, mortgage your house to uh, to buy it. Um, that's not to say that there's anything wrong with the with those high. You know, it's not in a budget uh, um, it, in a budget for everybody. Um, we have a couple of other Canadian companies that are realizing kind of the the, um, the the last details of it. Have um, um, we should have some some more news for you guys. Um, and uh, we got I got still got a pile of things here that I wanted to show you about in the next week's video. Um, thank you very much for for everybody for watching and for um, just uh, you know as as a close remark. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter. It comes out every Tuesday or on a Wednesday when we're a little, little bit late or, or we're waiting for Test for Tuesday. Um, coming out every Tuesday around noonish. Yeah. Thank you, everyone, for a lovely evening or morning or afternoon, depending on when you're watching. And uh, um, I'm looking forward to, um, to talking.